this is the second time I'm mentioning that, that that could make more people sleep at night just from the relief of that as a fact. Um, Because that's our next section of our show, which is the logic of if they're going to run out of money. All right, shall we jump into that? Let's do it. And the predictions that I have made about various aspects. All right, let's get to the point. Let's make this crystal clear. The COVID-19 EIDL program is not the PPP, not the Restaurant Relief Fund, not the Shuttered Venue Operators Grant, not the $10,000 CARES Act grant, not the $10,000 targeted advance. Those were all special programs created by Congress under the CARES Act in response to the COVID-19 pandemic and the economic downturn. There was a quick cash infusion into the economy and it, it worked. The EIDL program is completely different. It's it's a loan, and it's a loan designed to make up for lost revenue due to a natural disaster. It has been around since 1953. Please follow my logic here. Quick side note is nobody knows and nobody can say what is going to happen on December 31st. So please stop listening to all those people who are trying to scare the shit out of you and get your clickbait clicks, because that's all those people are doing. They're trying to scare you into clicking onto their videos. We have seen them do this now for almost two years. Every Every time something looks hairy and crazy at the SBA or the government, the second stimulus, do you remember what we went through autumn of last year? But you, you don't know how many emails and phone calls we would get or the comments. We would get emails from people saying, you know, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like, just why don't we wait till Congress actually passes the stimulus? And by the way, and I was right. We waited and it was better than everybody thought. We don't know what's going to happen on December 31st. Nobody does. But here's what I know. Logically, the EIDL program is a loan to make up for lost revenue. It's been around since 1953, which means it is a part of normal congressional budgetary appropriations. It's not a special program. So therefore, it is completely logical that it will be funded into the next year. There, I said it. Hold on a second. You actually said a few weeks ago, while we were probably having pancakes and chips. By the way, I had pancakes again this morning. (laughs) You said, you know what? I actually don't know if they're going to extend it. If you have a loan and you have a loan agreement, stop worrying about this December 31st. You're not having to worry about that this is for people who haven't applied before this is for people who haven't applied before this is for new applications this is for new applications if you already have a loan and you're looking to increase your loan let me just ease your fear read your loan agreement in the loan agreement it says you have up to 20 my girl you have listen well they can't if you keep interrupting me You have up to 24 months to request an increase in your current existing EID. It's in writing in the loan agreement. By the way, where do you think they're going to get their money from? They're going to get it from a congressional budgetary appropriation. But Ashton Bourne, you're misreading what the headlines are saying in the media. Sorry, love you, man. What? Thank you, Speak and See. The media is reporting the regulation. Officially, the program ends on December 31st. And as Linda said, it ends for new applications. If you've never now, applied. What's going to happen with reconsiderations and appeals and process? We don't know. Nobody knows. They're, Nobody yeah, knows. Because they don't have... And not- by the way, the SBA doesn't really share this stuff. They don't. They're notoriously horrible. You know, we had our friend Natalie Walters from the Dallas Morning News who was interviewing us. She reached out to the SBA for commentary on some information and they stopped responding to her because she wasn't writing very favorable articles about them. She gave them their best shot, but their public relations team is horrific. This is an agency with the worst communications protocols I have ever seen. I've dealt with federal government loans for 30 years in my mortgage career. I did FHA, did VA, did USDA loans, and I never have seen an agency that behaves this way. We're so busy, we don't have time to think what's the next thing we're doing, but we did hit on this idea of giving simple sense for small business, which is mistakes that we've made that you don't have to, and some good common sense stuff. Folks, if you want to call your politicians, sure thing, call your politicians. Here's what you tell them. Give the SBA more money in their normal budget so they can hire more people. Because you know what? Natural disasters are happening more frequently. And this is a valuable program. But as has been demonstrated literally for two decades, the SBA is woefully unprepared to manage the EIDL program for even a, a tornado or wildfire. So please, if you're going to reach out to your politicians, ask them to fund more money into the SBA's budget. The SBA his budget was like $859 million, which is an F-22 jet fighter costs about $120 million. Mm-hmm. So for roughly the cost of seven or eight jet fighters, that's the budget of the SBA. They need more money. All these problems that you all are having is because the SBA for decades has been abused by Congress by, by not being properly funded by Congress.